Good evening, friends. The KFO Broadcasting Company brings you another first in its series of documentary programs designed to keep you informed and to keep you uh, ahead of the news. Today, you see here equipment that makes this little space the nerve center of the planet. In this little space, we have enough equipment designed to keep you informed on every single thing that is happening in the world today. We are in touch by this phone with every important a place in the country which we are going to bring to you later on. But first of all, let me tell you, this is Operation Groundhog. Hello, 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 hello. Yes, he's here, just a minute. Yes, he is, Mr. Robert. Thank you. You don't have to ring it, I've got it. Hello? Yes, this is Mr. Yes, this is Fletcher Rabbit speaking from... Yes, yes, good, good. Yes, good, fine. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, I have uh, the great honor to inform you that our remote television crew is... <clears throat> pardon me. Nothing that makes me more nervous than a boom dangling on my ears. <clears throat> uh, I... Uh, <clears throat> I have the honor to inform you that our television crew, the uh, the remote crew, is now approaching the cave where Mr. Groundhog uh, is situated. And now, we know that this is not Groundhog Day, but the KFO Broadcasting Company has, with the co cooperation of the Cooperpolitan Weather Bureau, obtained the right uh, to enter Mr. Groundhog's uh, ground and interview him personally on what he thinks of the coming weather. Now, isn't that a scoop? It certainly is. And we're so happy to be able to bring it to you. Uh, as yet, the remote crew has not been able to get a picture uh, out of the cave. It keeps tearing out. Uh, but I understand that if very soon we will be able to get a picture, and then you will have your first-hand uh, report from Mr. Groundhog on the weather conditions. But first of all, now, I did tell you that we have this magnificent uh, uh, system here where we can reach any section of the country, any section of this planet. And this one reaches the moon. However, we are not at the moment interested in the weather conditions on the moon. Or are we? Well, we'll take that up later. Uh, we are going to visit various parts of the country and get uh, reactions from uh, very uh, fine experts on the weather uh, throughout our nation. And first of all, uh, we take you uh, to uh, Nantucket Island, Massachusetts, where we uh, have an interview with that famous authority, uh, Captain Snump. Uh, let me see if I can reach Captain Snump. Captain Snump, come in, Captain Snump. Ca come in. Hi, mateys. Captain Snump. Us men of the sea have nothing to do with groundhogs. Sea hogs, yes, but no groundhogs. <laughs> Speaking of weather, however, we got so blame much of it up here, we don't know what to do with it. Now, I can see approaching over yonder a sou'wester. Yep, there she moves. Thank you, Captain Snump. You see what I mean by being able to contact everybody in the field. Now, just a moment, that probably is our crew. Hello? Oh, hello, Mother. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, loaf of bread and what else? <laughs> Beeswax. Well, what's the matter with that thimble I bought you last week? Oh, I see. All right. What size needle? Yeah, I'll bring them on the way home, Mother. You bet. Goodbye. <clears throat> well, no, that was my mother. Uh, but I thought it was the television crew. However, I... Oh, here we are. Hello? Yes, yes, this is Fletcher Rabbit. Yes, how are you doing? Picture still tearing, hmm? <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, how's the audio? You can't get the mic down there. Hmm? Oh, he's afraid of the dark. <laughs> hmm? Well, keep us informed. Oh, I know you'll do your best. We're going to bring it to you, ladies and gentlemen, this exclusive interview with Mr. Groundhog. You bet. Well, let's get on with Operation Groundhog now, and let's go and have a report from some other section of the country. Why not go down to the southwest and find someone down there 
who uh, will give us some observations. Come in, uh, Southwest. Come in, uh, Southwest. Howdy, partners, little wranglers. I can't tell you when I have saw a groundhog. Here in Texas, you can walk for years and not even see people, let alone groundhogs. However, if nobody has any objections, I'd like to take this opportunity to say a few words in favor of uh, the Lone Star... Excuse me. We're going... Uh, we, yeah, hello. Uh, hello, Mother. Howdy, pardon. Hello, Mother. Uh, no, please, would you mind not using this number, Mother, please, when you're calling? No, you can get through the switchboard. This is a... Uh, no, I'm connected up with... Well, I don't care, Mother. Well, can't you get your noodles yourself? <laughs> No, you put the milk in first, then the cheese afterwards. It won't melt otherwise. All right, dear. Thank you. <clears throat> well, sir, uh, while we're waiting, we have not had a report yet uh, recently from our crew, uh, but uh, uh, I imagine that within a short time... Oh, here they are, right? Hello? Yes. Oh, good. Good. Mm-hmm. How far? Mm-hmm. Have you seen any sign of him yet? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, keep me informed. You bet, Mr. Groundhog, they're getting very close. But meanwhile, let's uh, take another report from some other part of the country. Let us go to Coloma, Michigan. There is a lady there, Miss uh, Carrie uh, uh, Krunkschnopper. And I believe that we're going to interview, she's a very fine expert on the weather. Uh, come in, Miss, Miss, Ms. Krunkschnopper. Good evening, all. I am not Mrs. Krongschnapper. I am her sister. She's a little late, and so I would like to take this opportunity to announce our bake sale, which the Jolly Needle Workers are holding next Saturday <laughs> up over Scheibel's Furniture Store. <laughs> we know we're going to have a lot of wonderful, toothy, nice things for you, and we hope you'll come. And as an added attraction, there's going to be a Hungarian punchwork duel to the finish. <laughs> so all roads lead to Columbus for a good time. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. My, you see what I mean. This is the nerve center of the planet. This is Operation Grout. Hello. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. All righty. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Well, try, why don't you try to get a light in there? Mm -hmm. You can't get a picture without any light. Well, you do what you can. Picture's still Terry. Try some thinking shears. All righty. Well, this is uh, the communication center, too. I just want you to know that. And Miss Fran Allison is here to read the news for you. We have the most magnificent machine that ever was invented, which uh, she is going to bring in. You will get the news before it's happened. Now, uh, Miss Allison, would you please step in and take over for a few moments while I try to contact Mr. Groundhog? Thank yes, you very indeed. much. Yes, mm indeed. -hmm. We would like to explain the machine, which you will see in operation here. It is called the handy-dandy bench-type model tape-a-meter. Now, we have only installed it this afternoon, so you can see it's really newer than tomorrow. So we'll see what it has to offer. And Hewitt to Ward to Tinkers to Evers to Chance. The use of paper clips has jumped alarmingly. Just one moment. I get it through here just as well. Um... Please send out only one memo at a time. Then it will not be necessary to clip it to anything. <laughs> we'll get to the weather soon. Do not eat your lunch in here. There's a room provided. <laughs> what are you doing for dinner, doll? <laughs> Who writes these things? Fletcher. Hold on just a moment, Miss Allison. Hello? Yes! Yes! Good! They have just gotten through. Uh, Miss Allison. Yes. They, what, what, have you got an interesting report there? No, no, I'll put it away. Well, we've just gotten through. Oh, I'll, I'll, happy I'll bring day. Bring a pen and pencil and come back. All right, we'll be set up just a moment. Coming through. I just wanted to tell the moon. <laughs> Whoop! Hush, baby. All righty. Now, here. Oh, here we go. Now, uh, I can... Yes, here. Yes, here. Well, let me get my portable microphone. Uh, uh, Francis, you must be in on this. Oh, All right. I want to. All right. Here you are. All righty. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, here he comes. I see Mr. Groundhog is approaching uh, the opening of the cave. Uh, please step right in, uh, Miss oh, Allison. Thank you. Yes. He is approaching the uh, cave. Uh, here he comes. Yes. Here he comes. 
Mm hmm. Here comes Mr. Groundhog uh, right now. There, there. Oh, quiet now, quiet. Shh. This is the moment. Operation Groundhog, finally. Mr. Groundhog, would you please just give us a little idea of what your predictions are? Come, come, Mr. Hog, you're hedging. <laughs> He's grounded. Hmm? You know what he said? What? He requested you to play Me and My Shadow. Oh, well, how wonderful. Well, I'd be delighted. And so, ladies and gentlemen, we have brought you Operation Groundhog, and you yourself can figure out these marvelous predictions that Mr. Groundhog made. And now, for myself and Miss Allison and all the rest of the wonderful crew that helped me, I want to say goodbye for Operation Groundhog. Groundhog. Glad we got off. Butcher, that was a tremendous thing. Well, it's very difficult to bring these special well, events. Well, I know, you know it is. But you know, there's there's a much simpler way to find out all about this thing. You mean about the weather? Certainly. What, for instance? The Farmer's Almanac. Now, it's fabulous, actually. And you'd be surprised, the wealth, not only the weather, but the wealth of information that can be found here. Congratulations. Thank you. Did you like it? Oh, wonderful. Job. I see here that the sun. No, that's the moon. Uh. Well, the sun is going to decline, but it's going to be out just the same mm -hmm. tomorrow. So we can just... And here are tractor safety rules. Tells exactly how to engage the clutch gently, especially when pulling uphill out of ditches or heavy loads. What's this, friend? <laughs> and observe standard traffic signals when operating on public highways. Farmers and use that. lights for night operation. Don't operate in the dark. That's what it says here. And there are 14 fascinating uses for vinegar, which I noticed over here. Just a few minutes ago and let me see vinegar vinegar please excuse me i just have to rest colder climate for 50 years is predicted colder climate the for annual 50 years. no the usual weather in the fall of 1950 is merely an introduction to about 50 years of colder climate to come how much colder enough so that farmers should be told right away that growing seasons will be shorter for the next 25 years wow and if you want to get your rhubarb in this is the month to do it because it tells all this whole thing here, and it's quite a wonderful thing. We don't, we don't need. We it. are now entering the cold half of a hundred-year cycle. Wow, that's pretty amazing, isn't it? I better get my coat out, don't you? Well, I should say <laughs> it I pays think. to be prepared. That's what I say. Maybe we could spend the evening together reading the Farmer's Almanac and really know what's going to happen. Right? We'll be the best informed people in this particular studio. Who? You and I. You mean Cuckoo? Fran. And Ollie. Yeah. Uh -huh. The musical director of Kukla, Fran, and Ollie is Jack Fascinato. The producer is Beulah Zachary. The director is Louis Gomovitz. The costume designer is Joseph Lockwood. And the technical director is John Natalie. And this is Bert Tilstrom. Oh, thank you, Mr. Groundhog. Kukla, Fran, and Ollie was brought to you from Chicago by the National Broadcasting Company. Thank mm -hmm. you.